thank you amar honorable it secretary jayesh ranjan garu shri dinesh malkani who's here from cisco anand ramurthy of uh, intel dr faizan mustafa vice chancellor nalsar dr venugopal reddy vice chancellor of jntu sandeep shandilya ji the commissioner of police cyberabad ranga potula the high ca resident hyderabad software export association president Shridhar Reddy Garu, Control S, and our own local IT poster boy, uh, Rama Garu. Thank you for being here, Mr. Vishwanath from NASCOM, and uh, to Barney, Cyberabad Security Council, and also a strong proponent of uh, the Hyderabad ecosystem. To all the dignitaries present of the dais as well, to the friends from the media, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, many many thanks, many many congratulations. Uh, to all who worked behind the screen in terms of po formulating these uh, four new policies i welcome you all to this event with great pride because this is the second in our series of policy launches some of you might be thinking too many policies you know does that complicate things or does that actually help i think it really does help especially you know in a in a sector like it where each and each, each and every one of the niche areas that we talked about with respect to data as you may have noticed all the four policies that have been launched today are connected to data we live in very interesting times the honorable prime minister recently in the digital india session that we had in delhi had spoken about an eventuality a situation a war in the future which will not be fought in the traditional way he spoke about a war which will not have a single drop of blood being shed he spoke about cyber warfare he spoke about how millions and billions of dollars can just disappear in a matter of few seconds how data worth data which is priceless rather invaluable can also dissipate in no time but therein lies the challenge today india can not only rise to the occasion address the challenge but also as shri mohan reddy had pointed out take this as an opportunity to create millions and millions of jobs for young indians today in our country we need not dwell on the predictions about robotics the predictions about automation and how there would be reduction in terms of number of jobs in it in information technology in days to come i think there are a lot of areas wherein automation may not be an an eventuality or, or or at least in the near future may not necessarily be the solution in fact in all these areas that we have seen today or that we have released policies on today be it open data or data hosting or data centers or data security or data analytics because every day in day out there are millions and millions of pages being uploaded onto the web there's gazillion bytes of data being created and which is being deposited in different servers across the world different cloud platforms across the world and now to analyze these and to make sense of this data is in itself going to be a huge challenge so therefore today in this changing it paradigm our government has chosen to be a thought leader our government has decided that we actually will go through the exercise in consultation with the expert because our honorable chief minister shri k chandrashekar rao never fails to remind us that no individual or institution is a repository of wisdom for the government to think or believe that it knows everything and therefore just can go ahead and formulate policies is a fallacy we need to consult we need to talk we need to deliberate and we need to come out with strategies in consultation with the domain experts and that's exactly what we've done we spoke to many of the thought leaders here we spoke to many of the industry leaders and only then after consultation after their inputs after we've taken their suggestions we've come out with uh, four different policies today today these days if you open a newspaper or any website or any t or, or uh, watch tv for a bit barely a day goes by without seeing some article or the other which talks about the death of traditional linear process based it models technological developments in cloud computing automation 
big data and analytics and artificial intelligence will significantly affect the industry. In fact, they're already impacting the industry as any of you who might be following the Indian IT majors will be aware of. And most of us, as we all know, as per some recent studies also, have realized that increased automation can definitely re reduce and redu reduction of jobs. But that, again, to reiterate my point, therein lies the opportunity to focus on new sectors, the next waves of growth to create more and more employment for our Indian youngsters who are looking up to the IT industry today to make them, make them competent on a global scale. In response to the inevitable cycle of disruption, most companies are today focusing on moving up the value chain, investing in new technologies, investing in skill upgradation, and attempting to ramp down their reliance on traditional bread and butter IT offshoring contracts. Therefore, given the overall scenario change, we are focused on these four new changes. We have managed to put Hyderabad, especially in the last two and a half years, on the global map by way of attracting some marquee names in the IT industry to Hyderabad. Now to add to these long list of companies, now what we're trying to do is basically create a new benchmark, be the thought leader in terms of policy making and in terms of leveraging these big challenges that the world faces today, especially with respect to data hosting, security, analytics, and take this as an opportunity and use this as a stepping stone for further growth in the city of Hyderabad, especially information technology. Now, in line with our focus on continuing to be the pioneer in leading the next phase of technology evolution in India, we, are announced, we have just announced or launched four policies. Data centers, in fact, uh, Mr. Mohan Reddy was just asking me, why would you call it data centers and not cloud-based solutions? Data centers today are more critical to information technology in India today. I think the day is not far when government of India and several other state governments in India also would start requesting and mandating that whatever data that gets generated in their geographical domain be also hosted within the same geographical domain or within the country at least. So therefore, this is where we believe that cloud, actually cloud computing, eventually comes down to earth and preferably to our country. And we believe that within India as well, Telangana can be a key, key player in data center business. We already have a level four, tier four data center in the form of Control S, which is very much in the city of Hyderabad. While there is a raging theoretical debate going on in some circles on whether or not a state should promote actively in terms of data centers, we have made our call and we believe that it makes eminent sense to do so. The reason being, there is a vertical integration that can be leveraged. We can start talking about manufacturing, because electronic manufacturing is definitely a focus for us. We can start thinking of server manufacturing. We can start thinking of manufacturing uh, in the data center domain. There are also significant knock-on effects to building up this capability, not the least of which is the development of non-metro locations. So we can even start thinking of tier two locations, creation of jobs in such areas, as some large organizations will definitely move, would want to move closer to the data centers. To this end, the new policy that we've announced today in data centers will definitely, and, and the slew of measures that we've also announced, will ensure high-speed fiber connectivity is provided, continuous supply of water, power, in addition to also tailor-made incentives, which are all already part of the package, will definitely sustain and ensure that data center campus that we plan to launch soon will be a huge success in Telangana. With respect to open data, Telangana will be among the pioneers in the country in coming up with this policy. Telangana state open data policy is the first step in opening up government data to a host of potential applications. The policy sets the necessary framework in place to operationalize the state open data portal, data.telangana.gov.in. The policy has many enabling provisions in place for multiple stakeholders. Through this policy, we hope to catalyze data, database decision making, and the development of important solutions for societal benefit as well. Now, cyber security, as I've mentioned, is a huge opportunity and a challenge. Maintaining law and order in the cyberspace is gradually becoming very, very important, if not maintaining it more than in the physical space. Telangana's vision today is to provide 
a safe and secure cyberspace for all of its citizens, businesses, and all other stakeholders through this policy. The cybersecurity policy of Telangana, which is the first of its kind in the country, aims to accomplish the following. Build an awareness about cybersecurity and safe cyber practices among the citizens of Telangana. Establish requisite institutions and legal framework to counter cyber crime. In fact, we are also the first state in the country to have launched Telangana Intellectual Property Crime Unit, TIPCO. Protect our critical information infrastructure, build a readily available skilled workforce for the industry. In fact, as was mentioned earlier, there are millions of jobs in this area ready for the taking. Promote the state as an ideal destination for cybersecurity firms and startups to develop cybersecurity products. Major initiatives to accomplish the same. In fact, we've already started with several. Cyber forensic labs, information sharing analysis centers, and T-CERT in the lines of CERT India. Now, designing certification programs through TASC, the Telangana Academy for Skill and Knowledge, master's programs, diploma programs through leading institutions with the cooperation of Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University. All of this will be part of our comprehensive cybersecurity policy, which we believe will be a huge sector in terms of employment creation. Data analytics is, again, a very, very interesting opportunity and interesting initiative of Government of Telangana. Our data analytics policy today strives to create a data-centric ecosystem which will attract businesses, strengthen smart governance initiatives, encourages data-driven decision-making, and nurture requisite talent pool to meet the future demand. The salient features of this policy include setting up of a data analytics park in Hyderabad with state-of-the-art facilities. We've already inked a couple of MOUs, a plug-and-play facility, and a shared infrastructure. Developing a skilled workforce in, in data sciences as a focus of the policy. Relax procurement policies, procurement rules, to ensure a commercial cell is also set up to identify products and help them scale up to promote startups and SMEs. And Telangana Data Analytics Wing, under the state chief information officer, to be set up as an agency for civic intelligence and to actually proactively promote data smart governance in all departments. These are the various in initiatives that we've come out with today. Over the next few years, we want to be known as a truly global, innovation-driven state and amongst the first technologically advanced regions in the world. As we continue down this path and as we receive more and more encouraging feedback from the industry, both in terms of sound bites as well as investment, I'm confident that this, that this startup state of ours, the state of Telangana, which is coming along quite nicely in leaps and bounds, actually, will very soon become the rarest of rare entities, a unicorn or maybe even a decacorn. Thank you very much once again, and I appreciate all of you showing up in such large numbers.